G'day and welcome to today's presentation on vRealize Network Insight. In today's session, I'm going to take you through vRealize Network Assessment and how you can take advantage of these tools to help your customers realize a stronger network security strategy and a better security strategy overall. I'm going to kick off today's session by introducing you to Mr. Sheng Xing. Sheng is one of our technical partner managers. He's going to take us through the formal part of presentation. And I'm going to be back after a few minutes uh, with Sheng. And I'm going to ask him probably some of the more frequently asked questions that we hear about on these topics. So we'll kick it off with Sheng. And I'll see you guys here in a few minutes. Hi, my name is Sheng Xing. I'm the technical partner manager at VMware. I'm here today to talk to you about vRealize Network Insight or VRNI, and also using that tool to do a virtual network assessment or VNA to help you sell more of NSX. So here we have the end to end NSX story here, starting from the high level here with software defined data center. If you're familiar with our NSX use case, uh, NSX uh, has three different use cases here. Just to summarize, we have security with micro segmentation, utilizing distributed firewalls to protect your east-west traffic. We also have automation, being able to allow IT to automate IT, to provide IT as a service. Uh, and then finally, app application continuity to provide uh, application anywhere in disaster recovery. And now with Visualize Network Insight, we're able to provide you with operational visibility, control, and compliance around the virtual network. So what's in it for you as a partner? Well, vRealize Network Insight or VRNI can help you increase the deal size for NSX. It is a separate component and add-on to NSX. Uh, so they would have to purchase that additional to NSX. VRNI can simplify deployments for NSX. Uh, one of these use cases is to actually do uh, planning for micro segmentation. So it can actually make recommendations as far as what firewall policies, uh, firewall rules that you can configure. Uh, and most of our customers who have deployed NSX are twice as likely to buy more of NSX once they uh, get into production. VRNI is also an emerging product, so it's got the same multiplier, uh, same as NSX at 30% gross margin. With VRNI, uh, we're here to use that to increase and or close deals with NSX. Uh, Columbia Sportswear is a great reference for us. Uh, they are using NSX along with VRNI. Uh, a health insurance company, before the assessment, they were looking for 50 CPUs NSX. Uh, after the assessment, the CIO presentation uh, they decided to increase that five folds uh, with 250 CPU licenses of NSX. Uh, lastly, we also have another customer looking at virtualizing one single data center. And after the proof of concept with VRNI, they really saw the need and the features that it provided uh, and some of the monitoring and health uh, checks that it does. Uh, they realized they wanted to double the size of the deal to two data centers. Now, there are three use cases to VRNI. The first use case, as I mentioned, is really planning for micro segmentation. It will help in uh, recommending uh, the dis distributed firewall rules and model the actual security groups. The second use case is around the visibility and analytics. Uh, today, we have a problem with our where there's no easy way to see across silos uh, across the different virtual and physical networks today. So what uh, VRNI provides is a 360 degree visibility and analytics into both the virtual and physical network and showing the actual data flow. We also have, uh, lastly, uh, providing best practices of the configuration for NSX deployment. Uh, it'll also do some health monitoring as well as availability, uh, you know, making sure that you're uh, managing and complying to the best practices of setting up an NSX environment. 
the east-west traffic analysis that we see here, uh, most of our customers are seeing greater than 80% of that traffic remains within the data center. So this example of 94% is not uncommon. And this is where we're seeing a lot of data breaches with uh, some of our customers. So they are pr protecting security at the network perimeter. However, once the perimeter is breached, a lateral movement, the east-west traffic of the attack becomes very easy without using micro segmentation. So providing this metric, we're able to uh, then motivate, encourage the customers to secure their east-west uh, west traffic and secure the network within. Um, the east-west traffic also, um, you know, it's very hard to send through physical firewalls, right? So there's a lot of routing and hairpinning issues, capacity and bandwidth issues as well. So certainly virtualizing the network can uh, help with that. Another thing that it provides you is this uh, nice chart of seeing you know, where the data is actually flowing, the actual traffic is going. Uh, in this case, we uh, VRNI discovers and connects with the vCenter and is able to grab all the NSX constructs as far as your folders and clusters and VLANs. And is able to, in this case, uh, show you some of the VLAN, VXLAN traffic and based on some automated security groupings, it's able to then distribute some of those characteristics. Uh, once it has that data, it also recommends, again, as I mentioned, some of the micro-segmentation firewall rules to allow you to implement the zero trust model uh, that Forrester have uh, recommended. You can also take this data and export it as CSV as well. So this is a great way if you have a customer with a very complex environment with thousands of VMs, using this particular model, uh, it helps you to understand the communication patterns between them. It helps you in planning to create those security groups and those distributed firewall uh, rules that you'll need. Another big feature of VRNI that a lot of our customers really love is this data flow, uh, this actual uh, data path across overlay and underlay. It shows the VM to VM traffic, VM to physical traffic. Um, in, in this case, we also do interact with some of the third party uh, vendors as well. So in this case, if you have Palo Alto net Network for some of your next-gen firewall, we actually will show that. So there are certainly a lot of these uh, service chaining um, being, uh, uh, being able to show that here. Now, lastly, with VRNI, it also does a best practices check and a kind of a health check against validating the configuration, validating the environment, make sure they uh, don't have any inconsistencies or issues across these, making sure that you have high availability, et cetera, within your NSX configuration. So those were the three use cases for VRNI, Realize Network Insight. So typically with a customer, we like to do the assessment first uh, using the VRNI tool to demonstrate to them, to show them the actual east-west traffic and motivate them, encourage them to take a look at micro-segmenting their network traffic. And then they would deploy NSX. Uh, we're using some of those best practices, using some of those modeling uh, plans of uh, security groups and firewall rules. And then finally, uh, in production, you know, certainly using VRNI to monitor and actually purchase the product VRNI uh, at, you know, after the assessment along with NSX. VRNI or VRealize Network Insight have had a much industry recognition in the past few years here. You'll notice that it's won Best of VM World 2015. Uh, even earlier this year in 2016, Gartner named it the cool vendor of enterprise networking. So it certainly has its fair share of awards. So as a partner, who can sell VRealize Network Insight? So every single partner can sell the actual product itself. However, to use the VRealize Network Insight to do the virtual network assessment uh, today, it is only available for elite NSX partners, but we are looking to open that up in 2017. 
The sales engineer, the SE that is going to implement this, will need to have a VCIX implementation in network virtualization certification, or uh, someone who has completed the Ninja Bootcamp and have completed their VCP in network virtualization certification. Now, the difference between the actual assessment tool versus the product, the assessment tool will only take a look at your east-west traffic. It only shows you some of the uh, recommendations and reporting of that, uh, but it does not give you the 360 view as well as uh, some of the best practices of running NSX. As, you know, the customers do not have NSX when you do the assessment. So this is kind of generating interest, generating that risk assessment uh, so that customers can look at this and uh, realize that NSX is truly uh, an important solution that they need to have. So who do we want to target? We want to target customers that have vSphere 5.5 update 2 or 6.0 or higher, and also uh, that has distributed switch turned on or enabled. So that is for customers with Enterprise Plus, or uh, if you have vSAN or virtual SAN, uh, that will also include distributed switch in their environment. Uh, customers who are interested in security, right, protecting their east-west traffic, protecting their applications, uh, their data center, their network. Um, and as far as recommended customers uh, with the number of hosts, we're looking for a little bit bigger here with 10 plus hosts and 200 plus VMs uh, that probably have a little bit more unsegmented traffic there. So with this NSX assessment, it is available uh, there's more information on Partner Central. If you go to vmware.com slash partners and log in with your partner login, you will see a quick start guide. You'll have uh, access to sample report and some FAQ documents there. So we'll use this assessment to go ahead and deploy the product onto the customer's uh, uh, network and then be able to connect to their vCenter and analyze their east-west and routers versus switching traffic and generate that report to show and discuss with the customers what that looks like. So they'll go ahead and use this to validate and to be able to then prove to their business uh, units or to, to prove to their, to their executives and champion it to, uh, again, kind of show them the need uh, and actually purchase NSX, NSX to actually implement some of that security. As far as the comparison, the vRealize Network Insight, it is CPU-based. Log Insight is another log analytics tool that has content packs available for NSX. Uh, and then we also have another uh, third tool that we are actually um, going to be end of service soon, or end of a sales soon in vRealize uh, Realize operations with NSX management pack that is going to be replaced by vRealize Network Insight. So that is going away uh, at the end of this year. So thank you for your time. I hope uh, that gives you a quick rundown, high level overview of what VRNI the product is versus what virtual network assessment utilizing that product is. Thank you. Sheng, thank you for that informative presentation. Before you go, I'd like to ask you a few questions. First of all, let's start with uh, VRNI and VNA. There seems to be a little bit of confusion with some people out there about what the difference is between the two. Can you explain and kind of clarify that for us? The difference between VRNI, VRealize Network Insight, and VNA, Virtual Network Assessment, is actually quite simple. VRNI is the actual tool, the product that we sell. There are three main use cases to VRNI. First is to take a look at your east-west traffic and make recommendations for distributed firewall rules for micro-segmentation. Second is to take a look at your network activity. It'll actually take a look at your virtual to virtual or virtual to physical and give you a nice 360 degree view of what's going on within your network. Third or last, is to take a look at your health of the NSX environment, the configuration and the actual availability of your environment. So VRNI, the product, it really is a nice add-on to NSX, the product. VNA, Virtual Network Assessment, is leveraging VRNI to just take a look at your east-west traffic and make recommendations and leverage that to sell more of NSX for security. 
Does vRealize Network Insight support multiple vCenters and multiple NSX managers? Yes, indeed, Daryl. vRealize Network Insight does support multiple vCenter servers and NSX managers as well. Is there a minimum version I have to be running in order to use VRNI? Yes, with VRNI and vRealize Network Insight, it will support vSphere 5.5 and 6.0. For IP fix support, you'll have to have uh, ESX 5.5 update 2 or 6.0 update 1B. You also want to make sure that VMware tools have been installed on these machines. It'll help in identifying the VM to VM traffic. With NSX, we support NSX 6.0, 6.1, and 6.2. Uh, this will allow you to NSX connect through the CLI for NSX Manager over HTTPS and CLI, as well as the controller and the edge over SSH. So I think I'm going to ask a real obvious question here, Shing. Does VRNI only collect data from vCenter, or can we get data from the physical network infrastructure as well? In addition to collecting the vCenter data, uh, as well as NSX, VRNI can collect data from certain physical network devices as well, uh, much like your Cisco Nexus, the Nexus 5K, 7K, 9K, and the Nexus 1000. Uh, also, the UCS uh, servers and Blade servers, the server CRAX, chassis, fabric, interconnect. Also, your core switches, your catalysts, uh, 3000, 3750, 4500, 6000, 6500. We also support Dell Force 10 switches, Arista switches, Brocade, and Juniper switches as well. Uh, we also support Palo Alto Panorama, Panorama as well as HP, uh, the virtual network there as well. So certainly there's a lot more physical network devices that we're expanding uh, soon in the future. Can you give us an overview of the minimum requirements it takes to run VRNI appliance? Yeah, the appliance itself, there's actually a couple of appliances that you'll need to deploy. There's a platform OVA file. Uh, it'll need a require six CPU cores, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, and then on the proxy uh, OVA file, you'll need two CPU cores and four gigs of RAM. The infrastructure, as we mentioned, you'll need vCenter, you'll need ESXi 5.5 or 6.0, uh, and then also NSX uh, 6.2 or greater. Uh, and with NetFlow enable on the distributed switches. So that about wraps it up for today's presentation. Don't forget you guys can find out more information about vRealize Network Insight in the installation guide that's available online. So you can look up more on the resource requirements. Sheng, thanks for taking the time to present this information to us. Thanks for taking a little bit of time for our Q&A session as well. And I hope you guys find that information helpful. Again, my name's Daryl Whitaker. Thanks for joining in. We'll talk to you soon.